Today we are making Instant Pot No Knead Bread. It only requires four ingredients and may very quickly become your go-to bread recipe. Hi, I'm Leanne from YourHomeBaseMom.com. And you know what? Nothing beats a loaf of fresh home-baked bread. Now there's a lot of no knead bread recipes out there, but the only problem is they take like 12 to 18 hours to make. And who wants to wait that long for a loaf of bread? So today we're gonna use the Instapot and we're gonna cut that time down to about four hours. Let's get started. Today we're gonna use our six quart Instapot and we're gonna put it on the yogurt setting. Now the Instapot creates a perfect environment. It provides a low consistent heat in an enclosed area that traps the steam and helps that dough to rise perfectly. Now, if you don't have a yogurt setting on your Instapot, I've been told that you can turn the Instapot onto the warm setting, let it warm up for a few minutes, turn it off, then put your dough in, put your lid in, and let it rise. Now, disclaimer, I haven't tried this myself, but I've heard that it works. But today, we're gonna use the yogurt setting. Let's talk yeast for a minute. This recipe uses instant rapid rise yeast. And the difference is with this, you do not have to add it to water first and let it proof and get all bubbly. You can put the yeast directly into your flour, your dry ingredients, and then add your warm water in. Now, if you don't have rapid rise and you just have the regular dry active yeast, you can still make this bread. But you will have to add the yeast into about a cup of your water, your warm water, and let it proof, then add it into the bread with your remaining water. But you can do it. So we're ready to mix our dough together. I've got three cups of all-purpose flour in my bowl. I'm gonna add one and a quarter teaspoon of salt in and a half a teaspoon of our rapid rise yeast. Then just take a spoon or something and mix it together. And then we're gonna add in our water. Remember I said there's only four ingredients. I have a cup and a half of warm water. Now you wanna make sure your water temperature is about 105 to 110 degrees, because if it's too hot, it'll kill your yeast. If it's not warm enough, it will not activate your yeast. Just pour in your water, and then we're gonna mix it up. No need to do this in any kind of mixer. You can quickly do it by hand, and you just wanna mix it up until all the flour is absorbed. Now it's gonna seem a little shaggy, you're gonna be tempted to wanna to knead the dough, but don't do it. So we're ready to put the dough into the Instant Pot, and this is what's gonna create that nice warm environment and allow the bread to rise in only about four hours instead of 12. First though, you wanna spray the inside of your pot in here just with a light coating of some cooking spray. And then we're just gonna add our dough right into the pot. And that's it. We're gonna put the lid on. And we're gonna put it on the yogurt setting on low. And then last thing, make sure that your valve is sent, set on venting, not sealing. We'll see you in four hours. Our four hours is up and we are ready to bake our bread. Now, at this point, your bread should have dumped spread out doubled in size, and there should be little tiny bubbles on the surface of the bread. We're gonna take it out of the Instant Pot. We're gonna lightly flour a surface, and then we're just gonna pour the dough out onto the surface. It's gonna be sticky. Then we just wanna take enough flour so that we can handle the dough and form it into a loaf. Then after you've formed it into a loaf, we are going to just cover it with a cotton towel and let it rest for a few minutes while we preheat our oven. So you're gonna need a Dutch oven or a heavy pot and one with a lid, that's really important. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat our oven to 450 degrees. We're gonna stick our pot into the oven as it preheats so that our pot is nice and hot when we put our bread in it. So our oven is preheated with our Dutch oven in it to 450 degrees. I've taken the pan out, remember it's hot, and we are gonna line it with a piece of parchment paper. So just very carefully and gently push a piece of parchment paper into the pot. Then we're gonna take our dough, which has been just resting here on the counter, and gently 
pick it up. <laughs> and we're just gonna place it in to the pot. Then we are gonna take some olive oil and just lightly brush the surface. We don't wanna deflate the dough, so be nice and gentle. And then we're gonna give it a sprinkle just with some coarse kosher salt or coarse French salt. And it's gonna make it so yummy. That salt on the top, I think, is my favorite part. All right, then we're gonna put the lid back on and it's gonna go into our 450 degree oven for 30 minutes. It's okay if some of the paper sticks out. And then after 30 minutes, we are going to take off the lid and bake it for 15 more minutes so that it gets a nice golden brown crusty crust on it. Our bread is out of the oven and it smells amazing. So we're just gonna take it out of the pan. Take this off. And we're gonna let it just cool for a few minutes before we slice into it. So while the bread is still a little bit warm, we're gonna go ahead and cut ourselves a nice slice. You hear that crust? Nice and crunchy. Look how pretty it looks. Yum. And of course, we've gotta add some butter to our nice warm bread. And now for the taste test. It's so soft on the inside. Mm. And a nice crunchy crust with that salt. It's just perfect. And the best part is it didn't take 12 to 18 hours to make. Four hours in the Instapot and then 45 minutes in the oven for a delicious, no need artesian bread. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. You can find the recipe for this Instapot and no need bread in the description down below. And be sure to check over here for some of my other Instapot recipes right here on YouTube. And as always, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell down there so that you'll be notified every time a new video drops here on YouTube.